Welcome to an Empower PL video tutorial. We are looking at Google Docs today and we are gonna jump into how to convert your Word document into a PDF and then uh, download that and, and bring that back into your Google Drive account and then be able to share it as a PDF and not necessarily as an actual Google Doc. So once you've drafted up your document, which we'll pretend this is our doc here that we're done with, we're ready to share this as a PDF, I'm simply gonna go to File. And in the drop down menu, you're gonna notice that one of my options is download. And when I get there, I get several options that pop up in an extra window, one of which happens to be a PDF. You'll notice, however, that there are other options here. And so if you know that your end users need, for example, um, either a P, uh, an EPUB uh, publication, which would you know be a, a file format to be able to read like in, um, uh, iBooks on an iPad, or perhaps you're wanting to send it so somebody can see it on a Kindle or other types of um, e-reader, then you could choose um, EPUB. You could also send it as a Microsoft Word document if that's what your end user needs to be able to see it. But I like to use PDFs as well because it gives me a format that is not an editable format. It's a nice, clean, uh, simple, ready to view document that can also be easily printed. Um, so I'm going to select a PDF and what you're going to notice on my computer, and this is specific to my device because I've got it set up on my computer so that when they download, it goes straight to my download options. And it also shows me on the screen, and this is pretty common on uh, most uh, uh, computers where um, when you download an item, it will pop up um, at the bottom of your screen and that's what you're going to see on mine. Um, so once again, you go to File, Download, and from the options, you select PDF. And what it did for me on mine, you'll see down here at the bottom left, I can see the demo doc PDF um, uh, file. Normally, what I do from here is I go to my download folders, and then I drag that into Google Drive. So let's switch tabs here and go over to my Google Drive, because now what I want to do is I, I want to bring this file back in uh, into my Google Drive account. So I'm going to go to my downloads folder on the left. I'm going to find that PDF and simply drag it right over into my Google Drive. So this is going to drag it, drop it in, and now this particular document is a PDF, which is now sitting inside of my Google Drive, ready for me to share. So I'm going to select this item, and you'll notice that up here at the top, I get uh, my little share icon, which allows me to click on it and get a link for that particular document. Um, so I can actually get this link and just simply copy it. Um, you can change uh, the view, vis you know, the visibility of that particular PDF by clicking on change to anyone with the link. You can change to anyone with uh, the link within just your organization. Um, or in this case, like what I'm doing here is anyone with a link and you have some options can do what can view can comment can edit, you can decide what um, options you'd like to give that person. So we're going to leave it at view. And I'm going to say copy link and then click on done. And once we've done that, I can now email people that link. And when I email it to them, let's say that they've gone to the email and they click on the link, which is what I'm going to do here is is as if I had clicked on that link, it'll take me directly to the document itself where I can then view the content. And, and this is what we've got here in the version of uh, the PDF as opposed to the document we had earlier. So just a couple of uh, little tips there for you in regards to being able to download your document in different file formats. Also, uh, one last thing, once you do open that uh, PDF document, you're going to notice that uh, it, you know, when, when you share this with people, they'll have the ability to add a comment onto that document, uh, which is quite nice. So when, when they highlight, you know, a section, then they can add a comment onto that document which is really nice. Not a lot of people use this because they don't know about it, but you can add comments to PDFs by uh, doing it this way. So hopefully that becomes a helpful uh, little feature for you as well.